Hey YouTube, this is Unconnected007, and today I am going to show you how to run Windows 95 on Droid X2 or any Android device. Um, first thing you need to do is download this file. It will be a WinRAR file. Um, it's right here. It will look like this. Just download it and extract it and put them in a folder. And this is what the file should look like out of it. So the you want to plug your phone into your computer. Okay. Make sure it is on USB mass storage. So if you pull down USB connection and the notification, make sure it is on USB mass storage. Okay. And just wait for the two MOTs to load. You can put an internal or SD card. I usually do internal. This is SD card, you can put it there if you want, but I usually do it in internal. Wait for it to load. Okay, here it is. And now you want to double click SD card in the file you have downloaded it, and then drag SDL into there. I already done that, so I don't need to. Drag SDL A APP or app dot APK into there too. Alright. So once you have dragged you can just drag all of these into there. You should be good to go. Alright. So now you want to unplug your phone. Okay. And you want to you want to go to the app drawer and click files if you do not have that you want to go onto the app store and download an app called the astro file manager um, it's because you need it to access your files on your SD card or your internal memory so droid x2 update comes with the uh, files so you can view your files if you don't go on the market and download something called astro file manager it's free so click it and you want to go into your internal phone storage and go it's usually at the bottom until it says SDL APP you can see that little blue mark that's it and just click it and click install and it will be installing lib SDL alright click open and it should open Windows 95. There it is, it's booting up. And you, it's like just like a computer has everything, it's a full version. And to shut the um, Windows 95 down, you have to go to like start menu, shut down, like you would do on a regular computer. You can't just tr like press the home button, or next time you open it up, it will go into safe mode. Now, also, thing that the only thing that's bad about it. is that the size of it um it's not full screen it's like nine, oh, I don't know what the resolution is but it is not a full screen uh, program so after it's loaded this is it um, I don't know you can see the start menu yeah pitch programs documents everything so the only thing I haven't been able to get to work I don't know you can try it just getting the network sh wireless network drivers to work on your phone so you can go on wireless and go on the internet but when you shut it down just go to start start it's not super touch friendly but it's it works so to move the mouse around you just move it on the screen and you can figure it out and then you, you have to like double tap to click something and there's the shutdown logo and there it goes so if you do not do it the right way it will go into safe mode and it will mess things up so always make sure you shut down by pressing the um, start shutdown button um, that's pretty much it how to do it um, I'm going to start it up one more time and you can see you click lib sdl in your app drawer and it does open uh, it will open 
Hold on. It opens. Windows 95. Okay, so it's, it always goes sideways on the screen. And it does have a boot sound, you will hear it. And that's it. So, please rate, subscribe, and comment. Tell me if this works for you. Tell me what you think. It's pretty cool. It's not really anything that's useful. It's just you can play the games that come with Windows 95, like Minesweeper and whatever. But please rate, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this works for you. And um, tell me how this goes. All right. Bye.